Okay guys, I wanted to go over muscle shape attachments, all those things that go into uh, making a bodybuilder look the way they do. And it's the reason why you could have two guys that are the same height, you know, same weight, roughly about the same body comp, but they look totally different. It all has to do with the way things attach and the shape of muscles. So the most obvious one, I think most people at some point have acknowledged this one, is calves. And for example, I'm going to use my calves as an example of... Uh, of, a, of an attachment that would not be desirable as, as a bodybuilder. So these are my calves. And they attach really high. I have, I have a very long Achilles tendon, this little nugget, looks like a little meatball of a calf. And that's all I have. And then you have some guy, a guy like Ben Goins, whose uh, calves like pretty much... Um, attach all the way down his ankle it seems like and I don't know if the dude could even wear boots but this is what Ben Goings calves look like so and you know what I guarantee you if we take a tape measure our calves might not be all that different in terms of just size but they attach so differently and they're shaped so differently that his look that much more impressive. Uh, same thing, while we're on a roll, let's, let's talk about my vastus lateralis, which is another uh, muscle group that just isn't ideal on me. And even though I have pretty well developed quads, um, the, the attachment of my la vastus lateralis just isn't uh, what it needs to be. So this is my vastus lateralis. and it attaches a little bit higher than I would like and it's not quite as round so it, I don't have that that classic big round you know a flamboyant quad sweep that someone like Jeff Alberts would so this is Jeff Alberts and Jeff's um, fast as a lateralis it's, it's, it's much rounder than my own but then also it attaches much much lower on his on his on his leg, um, and I guess you know. Let's just be nice and give me one. My vastus medialis is probably the one thing that really stands out in my legs, and my legs aren't very big in contest shape. They are about 23 inches, I think maybe. Um, and this is me standing next to two heavyweights, and simply because of the way it, they, my vastus medialis attaches. It attaches pretty high up on my leg and it also has some, some really nice shape to it. It, it. it almost looks bigger than the vastus medialis of these two big heavyweights I have uh, around me in, in this picture here. Um, when in reality their legs are, I guarantee you, much larger than my own. I know they are. I've seen them. They're just way bigger. But um, again, it just goes back to the whole smokes and mir smoke and mirrors. And you know, the same thing can be said with 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 uh, with the backs. So I'm gonna give you guys two uh, uh, just uh, freaky examples here. So this is this is um, Jim Cordova. And he has really low attaching lats and this incredible density in thickness. I mean, from up close, you wouldn't guess that this dude's 160 some pounds. It looks like it's a back that belongs on a IFBB, you know, pro bodybuilder. But you know, the truth is, it's just he's very blessed with how things attach. And uh, combine that with years and years of hard work, and you have a back that looks like that. Uh, and then you have a guy like like uh, Martin Daniels who has some really high lats. So. His lats are the exact opposite from Jim's in that they don't attach low, they attach high. It's just that the muscle belly is so round and especially on his front poses, his, uh, his front relax and his front double bicep, I mean, they just, they're so out there that even though they attach high, it's, 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 a, it's, a, really, it's a really standout body part on him. And you know, here's the thing about the way things attach and the way things are shaped. You can do anything about it, and it, it's really going to affect the way that you know your your uh, 
your uh, body parts look, the, the good ones and the bad ones. But um, with a little bit of elbow grease and, and a lot of hard work, uh, you can maximize whatever genetic potential those other body parts um, that don't attach the way uh, uh, you know they they do on bodybuilding trophies. Uh, those body parts that you know are kind of like my calves or my vastus uh, lateralis. You can still do a lot even if they aren't textbook. And my favorite example of this is is um, Lane Norton. So this is a picture of Lane when he was 19 and he would get all kinds of grief about his legs on, on, on message board forums and you know to be quite honest I thought that you know chances were his legs were never really going to be impressive um, so check out what they looked like when he was 19 and now <laughs> check out what you know squatting in the 600s and just Again, that elbow grease and years and years of hard work, and um, you would never guess that, you know, at, at least when it comes to size, that that was ever an issue. So this is Lane Norton's legs nowadays. So again, you can change the way things are shaped, but it doesn't mean you, you can't uh, build an impressive physique. And, you know, that's just one thing I really wanted to throw out there because I think um, in my last video when I said that my arms are lacking and uh, they're lacking, again, because of the way things attach and the way things are shaped. But I'm aware of that and because of that I give them priority in certain ways. So, again, you can change genetics, but you can change uh, the way you work, whether it be, you know, training harder, but also training smartly and training in a program that again just uh, makes those body parts that you know aren't uh, as ideal in terms of shape and, and the way they attach, it gives them priority. So that's it guys, I thought you guys would find this interesting, it's always an interesting topic for me because I get to see a lot of the behind the scenes uh, stuff that goes on with bodybuilding and it's just really cool how again you have two guys that way the same, same height, same everything on their baseball card, but they look totally different. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Much more of these to come. We have more questions uh, to be answered for uh, this month's Q&A. So look out for that, guys.